What is going on guys? Uh, welcome to the last and final Bluetooth communication tutorial. I'm just going to put it all together in this one. We're going to create uh, a couple buttons, uh, a couple text fields, and um, basically copy from my uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth tutorial that I already have. So if you haven't watched it, uh, just go over, you can go over to my GitHub and grab the code or uh, follow this tutorial, uh, how to pair and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take, I'm literally gonna copy main activity uh, the device list adapter, the activity main, and the device adapter view here uh, I might, I think I'll just go to my github make it easy for you so so I'm gonna grab that and that Although actually, it's easier if you open it up in Android Studio. So here's my uh, how to pair tutorial, and I'm just going to literally select main activity, copy. I'm going to go over to my communication tutorial, hover over main activity, paste, yes, overwrite, cool. There's a bunch of red, but that's okay. Uh, then we're going to go to the device list adapter class, copy that go to communication tutorial paste cool now we're gonna go back to here I'm gonna grab that and that I'm gonna copy them both I should have done that for the first one but that's okay and we're gonna go back to the communication tutorial and paste them both in there overwrite yes uh, only thing you gotta change is this so you have to change this to Bluetooth that right there there we go should be should be in the green now so I can but yeah I don't need this anymore I'll just minimize so so now we're back to my Bluetooth communication tutorial uh, and we're just gonna add first of all a few new buttons so we'll go to activity main why is that angry oh well, who cares I know it's fine I'll try to refresh yeah there you go okay First thing we're going to do is add a new button, uh, and the next thing we'll do is well, I'm changing changing list view, so I'm changing this right here. So uh, now the list view is below the button that I just declared. Now I'm going to add an edit text field so that we can send data back and forth. And so you are going to need two devices to test this, by the way, to send successfully send data back and forth. And then we're going to create one last button. Oh, this is too... Sure, I'll make that 250 dp. Okay, so we have a text field to send text. We have our button to send. Uh, this is going to initiate the connection, but uh, I'm just going to explain it all later. So just throw all that in there, and let's go to main activity and uh, start writing code. So the first thing we need to do is declare two new buttons. So I'm going to throw them in up top here. There we go. And uh, we need our... Bluetooth connection service object. So there's a Bluetooth connection service object. We will also need the UUID. So there's the UUID, same one that I used in the Bluetooth connection service, in case you were wondering. And we're going to need our Bluetooth device. So we'll declare a Bluetooth device. And then we're going to go down to our onCreate method and declare all these variables. What the hell did I call that? Edit text. Did I even declare it? I didn't even declare it. There. So edit text send. Okay, cool. So now I need to create a method that starts the chat service that will initiate the start of the chat service. So I'm just gonna write everything uh, below the on create here. So there's our method that starts start the uh, Bluetooth connection. And first of all, we need to log like always. So starting Bluetooth connection, initializing RFCOM Bluetooth connection, and then we. Uh, take our Bluetooth connection and we're gonna call so Bluetooth connection start client and we'll use the device and the UUID so that's gonna be our start client method that we created over I think it is in the second tutorial yeah start client right there which is going to initiate our dialog box and start connect thread 
So next thing we do before I forget is we're going to go into the broadcast receiver 4 and inside here we are going to assign our Bluetooth device. So uh, we're assigning the global Bluetooth device to the device that is that it's paired with. So if you remember from the if you watch my pairing tutorial when a bond is created this broadcast receiver will pick up that bond and this method uh, this if statement will execute basically so then the Bluetooth device will get assigned to the device that it's paired with so that's all good uh, next we're gonna write a couple uh, on-click listeners for our buttons so we'll go inside here and inside here we're gonna have start start uh, start connection which I haven't written yet so we'll just leave that there for now and then we need to do the send button and in here we need to um, get the bytes that we're gonna send because the send button is gonna grab the text from the edit text field and then send it to uh, the Bluetooth connection service so first thing we do is create a byte array and then send those bytes to the connection service using uh, the write method that's down here so using this write method so there we go we have the bytes from our edit text and then we use the connection service and write to it now we need to create um, the start connection method that I mentioned up here and inside the start connection method we're just gonna have uh, the start Bluetooth connection method so basically uh, the start so the start connection button that I made here this start connection button that's gonna be pressed when our app is already in accept when the accept thread has already been started and then we're ready to say okay now let's start a connection and try to initiate uh, the connected thread which is right here so that's that is what start connection is going to do it'll pass the Bluetooth device and pass the UUID oh uh, also too one thing I think I forgot to do is add start here so I need to add start so that means when our Bluetooth connection object is created the start method will get called uh, let me just see if I can find it here so it will uh, initiate our accept thread which is going to start this whole get this whole thing going good thing I remember that so when we click on the device where is it there are so here's our on item click method this method gets executed when we click on a device and it will uh, create the bond so not only do we want to create a bond but we want to start our connection service but before we start our connection service we have to make sure that we assign the Bluetooth device. So we have our Bluetooth device and it's going to be it's going to get assigned to the device that we clicked on and then our connection service will start. And um, when our connection service starts, the accept thread uh, I should have done a diagram actually. Basically the Bluetooth connection service starts and the accept thread will sit there waiting for a connection until you click on the connect button which is here start connection then it's going to initiate the start connection method which will try to connect to the other devices accept thread and then once that completes the connected thread will start and we can start sending data back and forth it sounds complicated but it's quite simple it's just like a flow it's like you're sitting there hovering and accept thread mode, another device connects to it, it's connected, and you're good. So now I'll do a little demo. Alright, so I got it installed on both my devices. You can see I have a OnePlus One and a Samsung here. So I'm just going to watch the log for the Samsung to start. So uh, first thing I need to do is turn on Bluetooth. Oops, I just turned it off. So turn Bluetooth on, turning on, enable discoverability. Now I'm going to go to the other device and turn Bluetooth on. I guess I can go over here and show you. I actually just turned off. Cool. Okay, so turn Bluetooth on and enable discoverability. And then I'm going to hit discover on both the devices. And we can see, um, so it, this one finds the OnePlus One and the other one, the OnePlus One finds the, the Samsung. So now on both devices, the timing doesn't matter, but on the OnePlus One, I'm going to click on the Samsung. So there you go, it says you clicked on the Samsung, and it says trying to pair 
uh, but it's already paired, so it doesn't matter. And then you see here the accept thread starts. So the accept thread is running. It's sitting there, hovering at that spot that we talked about in the first tutorial. So if you go to the accept thread uh, here, this blocking call, it's sitting right here, waiting, waiting for a connection. So I'm going to go over to the other device and I'm going to do the same thing. I click on click on the one plus two and the exact same thing starts you see so now they're both just sitting there hovering waiting for a connection so then on either device it doesn't matter just press the start connection button and a dialog bo box will pop up and uh, it'll say connect thread trying to create insecure RF comp socket um, connect thread is connected the connected method starting and connected thread is starting so that was actually an error. Oh, I remember. So, uh, we, so what happened was I tried to connect it. The I tried to connect the Samsung to the One Plus One, and then since the dialog box never popped up on the One Plus One, because I never initiated the connection with that device, it tried to close a dialog box that didn't exist. So I'm just going to include a try catch here to uh, catch that exception, and it will just carry on. So what is it? It's a null pointer. So I'm just going to grab this, and we'll go no pointer exception. I don't care, I'm in a hurry, and that should fix it. So we'll reinstall on both apps and try again. So I have it installed on both apps again. I'm just going to do the exact same thing, enable discoverability on both, and then um, discover on both. And then I'm going to click on the devices that show up in the list view. So there you go. So you get both the accept threads running on both the devices, and then click start connection on one of them. Doesn't matter which one. And uh, okay, so I don't. So that's see, this is the null pointer exception that I caught with the dialog box. So that's fixed now. It doesn't crash the app. So now I'm going to try and send some text from the Samsung, so we can see we're watching the One Plus One's um, log file. I'm going to send. So we can see the input stream on the One Plus One it says hi from Samsung. So if we go over to the Samsung, we can see um, here, writing to output stream, hi from Samsung. And just to check, I'll go over to the one plus one and hit send. You can see on the Samsung's log, we have the input stream saying hi from one plus one. If we go to one plus one, we see writing to output stream, hi from one plus one. So that's it. We're done. We're finally done. You came all this way and you now know how to send Bluetooth data back and forth and maintain a Bluetooth connection between two devices. And keep it in mind too that this works with, it doesn't have to be an Android device. Um, most devices are designed to be basically sitting there in that accept thread mode. So if you were to create this app and run it on an Android device and then try and connect to like anything, anything digital that uses a Bluetooth, you could, it would work. So. The UUID is going to be different, obviously, but that's that's going to be the only thing. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't liked the video, like the video. Don't forget to leave comments below if you have questions. I'm usually pretty good with answering questions as long as they're like it looks like people has put some people have put effort into them. Um, specifically, if you have a specific question, best thing to do is post it on Stack Overflow and then just throw the link in the comment section and I'll take a look when I can, or somebody will help you. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming all this way with me, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.